Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeff Bull Central, the only place on the internet all your Jeff Bull Central entertainment is living in the state of Montana 17 years after a Christian anarchist nuked it all to hell. We played Far Cry New Dawn, brand new Far Cry game from uh, Ubisoft. I got with me uh, Carrie Bowles. Hello. We played this together because honestly, Far Cry and co-op is so much more uh, enjoyable. It's the bomb. Yeah. It's the bomb. Like they finally added Far Cry co-op. I think it was like Far Cry Four, um, and then Far Cry Five. Like they did it for the whole game, which was great. Yay. And this is this is kind of like a, a sequel, sort of a sequel-ish, and it's not really a full length as like Far Cry Five, which is why it's only forty dollars. Um, but this is kind of a sequel to Far Cry 5, and no spoilers, but totally spoilers. Far Cry 5 ended with a bang. Yeah, a big bang. Yeah, we loved Far Cry 5. We did, we played forever. Yeah, we played a lot of Far Cry 5. Um, and, you know, this game, it, it doesn't really do anything new with Far Cry, per se. And you know what, that's kind of okay. Uh, because Far Cry is, is a lot of fun, and it kind of always was fun. And it continues to be fun. Carrie, why do you love Far Cry New Dawn? Well, I always I got invested in the story from Far Cry Cry Five. Right. And so this one's kinda like You get to see the second yeah, part. You you get to see what happened. To Jonathan Seed. Yeah, and like, even kinda your character, because I think your character's gonna show up. Yeah, might be so. But as you can kinda watch from the footage, I mean if you're not a Far Cry fan. The great thing about Far Cry is the randomness, just the craziness of everything that happens. You're, you're walking around this big, beautiful open world, you're driving cars, you're shooting guns, you're getting attacked by uh, special nuclear turkeys, you're driving a unicorn motorcycle with a gun on it, killing uh, nuclear uh, deer. Caribou. 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 That's right. Are there caribou in Montana? Is that a thing? I've never been to Montana. Maybe there will be after a nuclear apocalypse. Um, so the story here is that, yeah, we're 17 years after the uh, apocalypse scene at the end of Far Cry 5, and we're still in Hope County, Montana, uh, with very few survivors, um, and, you know, this this group of surviving uh, colonist-type people, good people, good-natured people, they're getting overrun by kind of like Mad Max Thunderdome-type evil multicolor they love their pinks and their purples and their color well, and they good. listen to evil rap music yeah. while they're chop shopping all the vehicles mm. the two twin girls yeah the two twins um you know as far as like villains go far cry is known for colorful cool villains really i mean far cry is known for that i didn't find these two all that interesting uh i didn't find the story as engrossing um but you know what like I don't know. Far Cry is a feeling. Nah. More than a feeling. Well, I tell you what. I have to disagree. The story always keeps me going. So you still like the story of in, in, in New Dawn? I do. Because the thing is, like, in the last one, you spent, what, eight hours trying to kill this 15 man? 15 or 20. It was, a, yeah, it was kind you, of a long You're game. trying to kill this man. And, you know, in this one... I have a feeling you're going to have to work with him. You know? Yeah, well, that's not a spoiler at all. It's exactly what you don't maybe have to, I don't know, do possibly. <laughs> spoiler alert. Um, you know, and if, it's the same basic map, kind of redressed. Far Cry has this tradition of releasing a main entry Far Cry game and then having, like, an offshoot game that they release a little later secondarily. Like, uh, uh, Blood Dragon was like that. Pri uh, Far Cry Primal was like that. Um, and so this is this is the same map, but of course it looks different because it's after society has been wiped out. All the weapons have kind of been changed to reflect that. You know, if you look at actually like the make and modeling of all your weapons, they're custom made based on parts and stuff. It really is like Far Cry 5 um, went Mad Max. There's a really cool new weapon, the saw launcher. You didn't really like the saw launcher. No. But it's like once you get I'm used an to old using classic it, girl. Yeah, you like your rifles and yeah. But it like bounces saws all over the place and just like cuts people in half. Brutal. Maybe it's the chaos of it that I don't like. Like you you aim but there's no guarantee. No. There's no hundred percent guarantee it'll go there. There really isn't a guarantee. Um and again I think I think once Far Cry, to me, made the jump into co-op, but see, we're a little biased. I think 
you know, most gamers out there are probably loners, <laughs> just by nature, um, and they probably don't play a whole lot of co-op games, um, especially since, like, in this day and age, you'd have to know someone else with the exact same hardware as you. Um, but let me tell you something, Far Cry in, in co-op is just so much fun, so much more enjoyable to have someone, like, watching your back. Um, <clears throat> it's a good couples game, if you really think about yeah. it. Yeah. The couples that play together... They stay together. ...make consomme together. I don't know what that means. <coughs> I think it's a soup. It's a soup. I think you're lying. No, consomme is definitely a soup. Soup. The answer is soup. You're gonna get comments, you know. Consumments. They're gonna say, it's not soup. Consomme is soup. Anyways. <laughs> So, I'm going to give, uh, well, the official score from Jeff Bowles Central, because Carrie's not official Jeff Bowles Central staff. She's just got a hero on loan from Carrie Central, which is not a thing. Bank of Carrie. Bank of Carrie, that's right. Um, Far Cry uh, Primal from Jeff Bowles Central is going to get an 8 out of 10. It's not doing much new with Far Cry, but it's still a great entry. What do you say, Carrie? Score for me. I'm going to agree with you. 8 out of 10, we agree on a score. Yeah, I mean, it's a great game. It's fun, it's crazy, it's zany. If you've had too much Far Cry, um, this isn't really going to give you anything new. I'll say that. But if you love Far Cry, it's not going to give you anything new, and that's a benefit. Ho ho! Do me a favor, everybody. This is one of my short story collections. The first one I put out, Godling and Other Paint Stories. Lots of zany, colorful, uh, paint-like stories kind of tied around a paint-like paint theme like purple and green and colorful evil uh, twins in Montana. Where am I going with this? I, don't, I have no idea. It's a really good book, though. Yeah. that's. I think that was and the it's general... And it's fun to read. It is fun to read. And that's that's a commercial. And that is... That I, is... I don't think it was a very good No, commercial. it's in the can, though. <laughs> I don't think it was a good one.